Teller County residents were shocked to see a tornado touchdown on Friday afternoon. 100 mile an hour winds downed hundreds of trees and damaged buildings. KRDO 13's Emily Coffey went out to ground zero for the tornado. Teller County Commissioner Dan Williams property to see the damage. Emily. Yeah, Michael, the tornado touched down in two places on the property, but the winds around the tornado truly did the most damage. Trees and their entire root systems were ripped out in what Noah pronounced an EF1 tornado. This all happened Friday afternoon around 3 o'clock. It was, uh, it was really out of body. Teller County Commissioner Dan Williams had about five minutes from watching a storm gather to... Once I saw the barbecue grills and the porch furniture up about 15 feet off the deck, things falling off the wall, then I realized we had a problem. And the tornado dissipated before actually touching his house, but the winds were strong enough to shatter the glass on multiple windows he's still repairing. But it's not just windows he's worried about. I mean, this is what it looks like when a bomb hits uh, in a wooded area. A hundred year old trees uprooted. This used to be just solid trees on both sides. Cracked in half and tossed like toothpicks over outhouses. And it was a little emotional last night just to understand how dangerous nature can be. How it's the kind of danger William says he's not used to and will take a village to clean up. Both county commissioners, our county attorney, elected officials, people that I barely know, neighbors that so you saw earlier today, wives with food, uh, just that's eye watering. Well, they're all coming back tomorrow. To be working on all the damage on his property for it over a year. That's because the tornado downed about 500 trees. Good news is all the wood isn't going to waste. He says he'll be giving it to folks who use it to heat their homes over the winter. Reporting live in studio, Emily Coffey, Cardio 13.